Hi friends, welcome back for another ASMR energy healing session. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Misty and this is my little ASMR yoga studio where we do all things healing in an ASMR style. So if that sounds like something you might enjoy, please stick around, check out this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you do enjoy it. Just real quick before we get into our energy work session today, I just would like to note a few things that you will find down in the description. Number one, I have a freebie down there. It is a free ebook, a beginner's guide to the chakras and how we can utilize them to help break bad habits. So if that is something that interests you, please check that out in the description below. Also, you will find a link to my course. I have a course called Break Up With The Booze. It's sort of like a starter kit if you're looking to reassess your relationship with alcohol. So you can always check that out. And then thirdly, um, this channel is not monetized. So if you feel it in your heart to give me a donation, I do have my like Cash App and PayPal linked down below as well. So um, if you feel like donating, I do put a lot of time and effort into these videos. It would be greatly appreciated. But of course, if you don't have the money to donate or you don't want to donate, that's completely fine too. These videos are still going to be here for you to use um, to help you heal. So with all that being said, Let's go ahead and get situated for our full body point of view Reiki session and let's get started. Hi friends, welcome back for another ASMR energy healing session. Today we are going to be doing this full body point of view session to help embody body. So this session is all about really connecting to that root chakra by connecting to our physical body. Um, I think it's a very common problem in today's world that we walk around so distracted by everything in front of us that we forget to pay attention to this, this body, this vessel that is our home. And um, I really think it's one of the first steps when we're looking to grow um, physically, mentally, spiritually to first start by paying attention to the body, paying attention to how we feel physically and paying attention to how what we do in our life affects us physically. So we're going to get started and today I'm going to help you embody your body. So get comfy, lay down. Let's get started. So we're going to start with a smoke cleanse. Today we have Palo Santo, which we will be using the smoke to just begin to cleanse the energetic body on yourself and also cleanse the space that we'll be working in. So, I'll go ahead and get one of these out for us. If you are specifically here to um, partake in this energy work, I want you to visualize that 
this smoke is gently drifting in and out of the aura, in and out of your energetic field that surrounds your body. And as it does, it is just picking up any energies that you might have picked up from other people, places, or things throughout the day or the week. And it's just carrying these energies away. So we really do this to kind of clean the slate before we start any type of energetic work. Just getting rid of anything that might be blocking us from being fully receptive to the work that we're doing. All right, so I set that off to the side to burn for the remainder of the session. Today we're going to do a sort of second step in this cleansing process. Um, and this is going to be to start to help loosen up any energies or blockages that are preventing you from feeling your body, connecting to your body, embodying your body, okay? So I got a new little um, tool to use in our sessions. I have been looking for a rattle for since I started. I've been looking for a rattle since I started making these videos. Um, I really try not to order things off of Amazon or go to department stores because that's a whole other thing, okay? So resale shops, um, antique shops is where I like to shop. So I've been looking for a rattle in antique shops and like Goodwill and stuff for eight months. I finally found one last week. And it makes the most beautiful sounds. And, you know, I'm not all sure what's going on on here. It looks like there's some people that are working out in the field, perhaps, harvesting. Maybe harvesting their crops and then there's like I don't know two cows like I don't know that kind of looks like a cat to me but two animals and then some more people working so I was so excited to find this because I I Rattles are one of my favorite triggers in ASMR and I just think they're a beautiful tool to use in energy work. I think sound can be so healing. So we're going to use this to just gently begin to shake up your energetic body, your physical body, and really just loosen like I said, any of those energies or blockages that are keeping us from connecting to ourselves, okay? So just close your eyes and relax.
we've really loosened all of that up, I am going to use my seashell and I'm going to be scooping out all of those blockages, all of those energies that we've just loosened up, okay? And again, we're, we're letting go of this to help us connect to our body, to be able to feel our body, to be able to listen to our body, to be a friend to our body, and to really worship, you know, this, this beautiful gift that we have, this beautiful body that we have. helps us skip from point A to point B and allows us to take care of ourselves and take care of others. Okay, so I'm gonna start down here by your root chakra and just work my way up. So we're letting go of really anything that makes us want to disconnect from our body. There may be some fear, shame, guilt um, surrounding your views of yourself or your body feelings that maybe it's been easier to bury them, numb yourself, distract yourself, instead of dealing with them, or dealing with them in a more constructive manner. And these types of emotions and feelings and energies can really keep us disconnected because like I said we live in a in a world where different avenues of distraction and numbing are presented to us every day um, it comes in the form of food booze drugs TV shopping um, I mean anything. There's so many things out there, social media, so many things out there to distract us from really paying attention to ourselves. And so we're just gently scooping all of that out. There's no need for it anymore. More than likely, if you're here healing with me, you're in a safe place to work through all of this. You know, it might have been a defense mechanism that you needed at some point, but it's a new day. And we're going to work through that stuff and learn how to be proud of our body and how to appreciate it. Good. 
So next I have some crystals that we'll be working with and I'm going to be drawing the chokere symbol on the root chakra with all of these and then we'll be forming a grid around the body. Okay. So we're going to start with this black obsidian. And this black obsidian is going to be specifically used for grounding the body physically and energetically. Black obsidian is actually formed when lava um, erupts from a volcano and then quickly cools. This black obsidian is formed. So I think it's a really great stone to use for grounding because it's something that when it's born, when the volcano erupts, you know, it almost immediately finds it finds its place, reconnects with the earth and grounds down. So we are going to use this to ground the body down, connect with the earth below us. I'm just going to place this down here at your feet to ground down the body. Next we have this tiger's eye and we are using the tiger eye today as a way to provide ourselves with a sense of structure, security, safety. This is a very protective stone. So think of it in that sense that it is helping to protect our physical body so that we can feel safe, secure, structure, stable. Okay. So I'm going to draw this by the root chakra, the chokere symbol. Then this is going to go on the right side of your hips. Next, we will be using this amethyst, and the amethyst is going to be used to help us to connect to our body, to be aware of our body and how it feels to be in our body. Um, opening up our intuition to know why it is important to connect to our body. So this one is, this is for awareness. Okay. This will go on the left side of your hip. And lastly, we will be using this clear quartz um, for two reasons. The first is it is going to help dispel any negative energy that might be coming your way. Okay, so really keeping those negative energies, negative thoughts about our body um, away from us. And then also we're going to be using it as an amplifier to really amplify the uh, vibration and work of these other stones. And I'm going to place this one just behind your head after I draw the 
chokurei symbol. Place this just behind your head. We're going to drain any leftover negative energy down through the black obsidian to return into the earth. And as we do this, we are going to remind ourselves of just a few things. Your body is your home. It is strong. You are safe in your body. It is okay to feel your body and listen to your body. Embodying your body is going to help you connect with the earth with yourself and ultimately with other people. Our body is a powerhouse of information and knowledge and just like this divine, beautiful energy and it should not be ignored. So test it out this weekend when you're out and about doing your normal routine. Take a minute to just check in with your body. You know, notice how the soles of your feet feel while you're walking. Notice how your shoulders feel while you're working. You know, just pay attention to your body. and listen to it. If it's hurting, <laughs> switch positions, go for a walk. If it's tired, take a nap. If it has a lot of energy, you know, go, go exercise, go do something fun, go for a hike. Just listen to your body. We're going to do a quick aura of love. All right, my friend, you are good to go. I hope that you enjoyed this session. And again, if you did enjoy it and you're still with me, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel two of the best ways you can support me. And I hope that everyone has a beautiful weekend. Make sure you pay attention to your body. And I will see you guys again soon for another Root Chakra theme session. Thank you guys so much. Have a good weekend.